So welcome to, to everybody in the stream and uh, welcome yeah. to, to you as panelists. And um, I'm Thomas, I'm the Managing Director of Impact Hub Zurich. Hi, Debbie. Hello, everybody. Yay, I got the full panel. Cool. <laughs> and um, so we're uh, the biggest startup community in Switzerland. And our mission is really to um, make entrepreneurship a viable career option in Switzerland. Because in contrast to, to Israel, there are not that many people who follow their own ideas and uh, incorporate and do their own startup. So of like master people with a complete master degree, it's uh, something below 7%. And we want to increase that. And um, I mean, it's a good thing to come to Switzerland because we're a very multicultural country. It's, we have about 25% of the people who are living in Switzerland are actually not Swiss citizens. So that's enough about Impact Hub and myself. We're going to be having now three-minute sessions from uh, each of the representatives of, um, that are here. And some of them are going to slide, uh, share slides, some of them don't. Um, the first one uh, is Lars. Uh, you're a venture partner at BASH Startup Kitchen. Sorry. That's correct. No worries. <laughs> and the floor is yours for three minutes, Lars, please. Oh. Awesome. Just trying to share my screen. Bear with me a minute. I hope you can see it. Let me yeah. know once you can see my screen. Awesome. So yes. A few slides, but again, like thank you very much for having me today uh, in the pitch session. So my name is Lars. I'm from BSH Startup Kitchen, which is the corporate venture client unit at BSH Home Appliances Group. My pitch, I think, is pretty succinct. I mean, 2020 has been like a super exceptional year, right? So it has changed the way we work, the change the way we live, the change the way. We consume things, so that has been quite a big impact on the home appliance industry as well. And to put it quite frankly, like with BSH, in case you don't know what the abbreviation or the acronym stands for, it stands for Bosch Siemens Home Appliances. We're one of the leading players in the industry, and we're also leading the change in the industry. So with all the consumers changing their behavior, we also need to change the way we sell our appliances, the way we ship our products, the way we interact with everyone, also with our industry partners. And having said that, like with a global footprint like us, we're looking for great tech startups along the full value chain of what we do. So we look for leading tech startups with a ready prototype, ready product, ready for use. And what we offer, like if something that we can put into our products, like new sensors, new materials, something we can use in our production or like in our logistics departments or in our um, business processes, namely e-commerce or how we interact with clients and customers, reach out to us. What we offer is like being a fast track to the home appliance industry. Like we're like providing you access to our key decision makers and we will help you do business right away. We start with a paid POC, but then it's all about scaling the solution fast and make it big to our benefit and to your benefit as a startup. Win-win business. If that rings a bell to you, reach out to me, reach out to us. Uh, you can find us on LinkedIn, reach out to my email, or like you'll find us on the web as well. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Lars. Uh for this intro. So we move on now to Nico. You're a managing partner at NMA. That's a venture capital fund, if I'm right. The floor is yours. Well, you you're can, almost right, yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. correct me. I see it from your body language that I didn't make that one. No, you're, you're, you're anticipating something. Um, we're actually an accelerator, uh, the next media accelerator uh, out of Hamburg in northern Germany. Uh, what we do is we invest in very, very early startups from the media ecosystem. And we bring startups from all over Europe and Israel to Hamburg in normal times for half a year and then connect them 
with uh, the German speaking media ecosystem. Um, our investors are mostly publishers uh, from Germany and Austria. Uh, this whole um, endeavor was started by the German press agency DPA, um, which is uh, itself owned by 184 shareholders, which are media companies. So we have a very good network within uh, Germany, Austria, Switzerland. We can connect startups to almost every publisher, uh, broadcaster or agency. And this is what we do. Um, we have uh, invested in over 75 companies so far, and um, we're quite successful, I think. Um, and we're the biggest uh, media innovation accelerator in Europe and also the only one. Um, but um, what, what we love to do really is to work with startups from countries like Israel, um, you know, modest in size, uh, tech savvy people, really good command of English as a foreign language. And that makes, us, uh, makes it really easy to connect them to the German media ecosystem and uh, help them grow faster. And uh, I always try to tell people that Hamburg really is uh, uh, the gateway to the German uh, speaking um, digital market in Europe, which is the biggest market in Europe. So uh, I would take that opportunity if I were into media tech uh, and connect with me. Uh, and what, what Thomas said about the Venture Capital Fund, uh, we're uh, starting fundraising uh, in the next couple of weeks uh, for a third fund. Uh, and we want to do acceleration, but also uh, seed and pre-seed investments. Um, so Thomas, you were quite right about that. Uh, we want to venture into uh, a venture capital fund. Okay, thank you very much, Nico. And I'm happy that I was only half wrong or <laughs> anticipating into the future at least. <laughs> so, you're visionary. <laughs> yeah, to totally, especially when I look at your web address with the uh, .vc. <laughs> yeah. So, everything else was taken. Yeah. <laughs> so, next uh, is, is Ruth. Uh, Ruth, you're the head of open innovation at the house of InsureTech. And um, that sounds really exciting. So let us please know what the house of InsureTech is and what you're looking for. Sure, Thomas. Thank you so much. Um, actually, most of it is set uh, in the name of HITS, the house of InsureTech Switzerland. We're based in Switzerland, um, working with uh, lots of startups uh, from the DAC region, but also reaching out to other interesting ecosystems such as uh, Israel, for sure. Um, we do focus a lot on the vertical of intratech. We look for startups in the area of uh, developing solutions with, throughout the value chain um, for insurance, but also looking a bit beyond uh, on some interesting ecosystems and some functional uh, technologies as well. Um, very briefly, so that it's understood, um, we are the spin-off of Generali Switzerland, so we've got a big insurance um, on our side. We started around 2017, now we've got about five years of history, and one of the first collaboration in this open innovation journey has been F10, um, that is also represented here in the panel, so we do a lot of um, uh, join uh, uh, scouting and really participate in the in the in the program as well with F10. We've got another important partner that it's plug and play intratech in Munich. So lots of the sourcing activities happen also through partnerships. Um, what else do we do at the House of Intratech? Um, and essentially our our DNA it's uh, really to uh, collaborate between the whole corporate needs um, in insurance and also the solutions that are being uh, provided uh, throughout the startup cases. We do, um, as I said, do betting and do matching of all those needs, create POCs, MVPs, and essentially market tests and scaling. And that not only with Generali, but of uh, Switzerland, but of course now more and more with the launch of, um, of this uh, unit uh, we spin off about a year ago and we're much more collaborating throughout the group, the Generali group. This is, um, we have uh, overall like about uh, 61 million customers. Uh, so as you can imagine, it's a, a huge market and really we're willing to collaborate with the startups. Right now, the key trends that we're looking um, into 
uh, are free. The first one is Robo for advisors and brokers. So it's for advisors. So we're willing to collaborate and provide tools for our advisors and brokers. The second one is uh, cyber insurance. Um, I guess there is uh, plenty of, uh, of interesting startups uh, here in uh, Israel. So anything based with uh, AI and working with uh, cyber insurance solutions, it's interesting as well for us. The third one, it's gonna be around ESG themes, like topics on asset, ma asset management and behavioral economics. So very much looking forward to be here in the panel. And um, yeah, thanks Thomas, back to you. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, so we move on to somebody you have already mentioned, to Deborah, Debbie from F10. You're the lead accelerator at the F10 Accelerator also here in Zurich. So the floor is yours for three minutes. Thank you so much, Thomas, uh, and uh, happy to be here. Um, yeah, yeah, my name is Debbie. Um, I'm responsible for the acceleration part. <laughs> Uh, and F10 is actually more than just an accelerator. Um, we are a meanwhile global network uh, for startups. We have our roots in uh, Switzerland and in the fintech space. We were founded about six years ago uh, to really foster innovation uh, and uh, enable collaboration between the traditional incumbent industry uh, as well as tech startups. Uh, but we've always had this kind of um, global focus um, basically working with startups from all over the world um, and um, basically what we uh, now have is also a hub in Singapore so we are looking also at the Asian market uh, or we can uh, obviously help European, Israeli uh, and so on startups to also uh, get traction uh, and, and enter the, the Asian market and Asian ecosystem and we now very recently have also launched uh, uh, a hub in Spain, actually in both Barcelona and Madrid. Uh, and what we offer is basically uh, two things. Uh, we're looking at very, so the first part is basically looking uh, at very early stage um, startups that are pre-product launch and we offer a five month incubation program for those guys uh, to basically bring their product to market to help to generate first traction. And we also uh, looking to uh, make what we call a spray and pray investment into those startup, uh, which is around 200,000 uh, euros for 7% equity roundabout. We have a small fund for that. Uh, yeah, and to uh, basically also then obviously accompany these startups on their journey um, after the five month program. So that is the incubation early stage part. And then we've got the uh, somewhat later stage startup acceleration part that I'm sort of taking the global lead for, uh, which we're looking at post revenue, uh, post seed ventures that already have some traction and they're uh, the main target is to is to foster innovation with our partners. We work with many, many um, uh, interesting and large organizations, such as, for example, HITS generally. Uh, we work with the Swiss and Spanish stock exchanges. We work with um, retail banks um, and international private banks. So we've got a quite uh, a nice range of, of organizations that uh, we collaborate with uh, and our startups collaborate with. Um, this is pretty much where we focus on industry-wise. Um, we, as mentioned, have a have a roots in the financial industry, but we're really looking at any any topics, uh, any deep tech ventures um, that basically have a use case in the financial industry. A lot of our startups also come from different industries. They kind of want to, you know, uh, test uh, their products and value propositions with the financial industry. This is also something uh, that we do and where we can help with. And of course, That's we've got a lot your emails. three minutes, Debbie. Oh, Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I will put my email in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Debbie. So, Antje, you're with the Airbus Biz Lab, and uh, like uh, 90 seconds before your presentation, you're doing a quick interval training up the steps. So, the floor is yours for three, three minutes, please. Thank you very much, Thomas. Uh, thanks for having me here today. Uh, my name is Antje Buhlmann. I'm representing the Hamburg part of the Airbus Accelerator, uh, which is called BizLab. And I'm also leading the corporate venturing activities at Airbus. I'm happy to talk to you here today. 
I would like to start my pitch with the with the spring story. A spring and spring in in Switzerland, in Austria, you probably see it more often than in Hamburg. Snow starts melting from the edges. And if companies and corporations as big as Airbus um, look at this fact, it is super, super important to see and to establish vehicles and um, satellites at the edges of the company in order to see what's happening outside. And uh, the BizLab is such a, such a vehicle that is placed at the edge of Airbus in order to have a very close eye at the market that is not core Airbus, to see what's going on in the startup ecosystem, to see what's going on in the universities, to see what's going on in SMEs as well, and in R&T and tech innovation in, in general. This is, this is our main task when we look into scouting and venture intelligence. Our activities are based on two major pillars. The first pillar is venture building, this is not what I'm going to talk about too much because venture building is basically taking assets from Airbus. And Airbus is a huge company with 130,000 really bright minds. Obviously, there are assets that can be scaled onto different and third markets. This is one of our core competence and, and activities. The second big activity, which is a bit more interesting here for, for us today, is the activity of corporate venturing. And I'm here a little bit with Lars because our venture client unit is looking for startups that are already a little bit more mature. They have a product, um, they're ready to test the product in our uh, environment. It doesn't have to be industrialized completely, but it needs to be ready for, um, for a proof of concept in our perimeters. So if, if you start up um, and uh, if you, it doesn't matter, uh, here Israel is, is really, really super welcome because we know we've got a little satellite all, also from Bislab in the junction in Tel Aviv. If, if you are somehow in the area of industry 4.0 to help us in our production sites, if you are in autonomy or AI to help us getting our single pilot planes up and running and our urban air mobility vehicles up in the air. If you are in robotics to help us take the burden and workload from, from manufacturing and assembling aircraft from the shoulders of our blue colors. In, in connectivity, mobility, new space, a IoT, you can uh, call me, give me a wing, give me a method. We can discuss that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So on the spot with three minutes, aren't you? So that, that was our quick intro round into very interesting opportunities for all of you startup founders uh, who have been watching now. Please, please reach out to the people where you were like, okay, they're exactly looking for me and for my startup. Um, so you can have individual sessions and uh, you also have like contact details. Nico just also posted his email address here in the chat. And um, thank you, um, Lars, Nico, Debbie, Antje and Ruth for sharing and introducing uh, your programs. And uh, I wish you an exciting day and many many contacts because i know that israelis are very very good at uh, at pitching uh, and um, i know that you will be making a lot of contacts and i hope to see you all next year really at the beach in tel aviv <laughs> after the session because i can tell you that's something i miss besides my family in tel aviv it's uh, it's really the warm weather and being able to walk around in march and and so on in in shorts that's something that i miss so on that note all the best to you bring it in yeah i know it's it's one of my specialities <laughs> <laughs> so have a good day and enjoy all the sessions and please talk to as many founders as you can. Bye-bye. Will do. Thank bye. you. Bye, bye. bye.